I was cleaning my shop and I just keep thinking about the awesome time I had in Europe. So I decided to put together a short video talking about it. If you're interested, stick around. And if not, no problem. I will see you Sunday. I guess to summarize it, it was absolutely amazing. The convention itself was just on a different scale that I've never seen. It was so huge and the booths were enormous. Triton's booth had a live like demonstration room. I keep calling it a bubble, but it was also referred to as an aquarium where myself and two other woodworkers would take turns alternating in and out of the booth, building something with the tools so that people walking around can see them being demonstrated. It was a brand new experience building in front of an audience. Typically it's me and this camera, but there it's a whole bunch of strangers from different cultures. And I'm not sure what they're thinking. If they're laughing at me or supporting me or just a little bit curious, maybe a mixture at the end of the day, it was it was uh, an exciting experience. So in the bubble, I built the stool that I just released the video on. I built that and the uh, DC install before actually going to Germany so that I could still release videos even though I was traveling. It was pretty stressful to get them done, but I'm glad that I was able to. And one of the very cool things about this trip was getting to meet the other two uh, woodworkers that were going in and out of the booth with me. Uh, one was named Jamie and he built this immaculate stool made from ash and it was just gorgeous. And Jamie actually helped me out uh, quite a bit while in Germany. And it's really funny because I'm never around other woodworkers or other makers not actually building anything. So I don't really have too much of an opportunity to pick up on, you know, maybe tips or tricks or methods or things like that. And Jamie, just in the, you know, three or four days that we were together, and even though we weren't building together, I picked up about three or four different things that, um, I don't know, it, it's almost like a... Aha! You know, sort of thing. At one point, I was having trouble with my dados. Uh, the material was kind of cupped, and the uh, the dados weren't seating correctly. There was a small ga gap, and so he said, "Just put screws and put plugs over them." So, anyways, he cut some plugs for me and told me what to do: Ham glue and hammer them into place, and then just sand them smooth. And so, you know, I walked away from the weekend uh, with about three or four of those sort of uh, here's some information. And it's just, it's like a little golden ticket for me, you know? Then the other guy, Patrick, Patrick built this amazing surfboard. It's a hollow core surfboard that he handcrafted. And Patrick is a self-taught woodworker, craftsman, that is in South Africa. And so he spent, I think, two days making the surfboard. And then at the very end, he cut a hole in it so that it could be on display. And there's a hole in the center so that people can actually see what the inside of it looks like. I'm running out of space. Too much wood, too little space. We'll go with too little space. One of the absolute highest points of the trip was getting to meet all of the different uh, viewers that were actually able to make it to the convention to meet me. I had some from Belgium, from France, from the Netherlands. Where's my saw? Here it is. I had Pierre and Joe show up from France with a handmade saw. So this is going up on my shop wall. But on top of meeting fans, I was also able to meet a lot of the other YouTubers. I think I was able to meet six or seven different YouTubers between the Germany and the London visit. I was able to meet uh, Rob's work workshop, uh, Alex, who's a blogger from Belgium, uh, the ultimate handyman, and then of course my new favorite person, Laura Camp. We were able to meet up, do lunch, do beers, and she is just as genuine and awesome in person as she comes across in her videos. It was an absolute pleasure to meet such a kind, but also tough female. Oh, shoot. That would've been bad. So the show in Germany was three days. I think I was there a total of four. And then after that, then after that I flew to London. Um, and actually my husband was able to travel with me, thank goodness, because I flew, I flew on four planes, all four got delayed, and we had a little mix up with our luggage as well. So I was really thankful to have my partner in crime to kind of just help me sort through it all. So after the convention, we uh, went to London. And that was, that was a fun experience, getting to, where do I put this? 
Uh, I love the underground. In Texas, we don't have a great form of public transportation and definitely not a subway system. So that was a lot of fun getting to ride on a train everywhere. Then I also put together a meet and greet in London so that I could meet just, um, you know, just another opportunity to meet viewers if they were interested. And we had about, um, I think around maybe 15 to 20 people show up and it was a pretty amazing time. Another YouTuber showed up, actually two, JP Woodworks and Rick, Richard Morley. Yep, I planned to stay there until around 7.30, ended up staying I think until around 10.30 or so, uh, just because we were all just kind of enjoying chit-chatting. So overall it was pretty darn amazing. A lot of food, a lot of beer, <laughs> and a lot of good people. Although, I did miss my shop. By the way, these are handy.